Plug is welcome back to Paper Whisper. Today I'll be starting a new series. A series about tessellations, actually. If you don't know what tessellation is already, it's pretty. It's basically either it's basically having a repetition of small little things called modules or units or items or whatever you want to call them. They're usually called modules, though. So, a bit about tessellations. So some can be super simple, like the one about to show you today, a hex hexagon hexagon twist. Or they can be quite complicated, like a hydrogen house box that I, that I designed. So let's get right into it. So basically, the um, hexagon twist oops, um, is pretty simple, actually. Although it requires there is something called triangle grid. These two things are will, will be what I've been show, I'll be show, I'll be showing you today. So fold one edge. To, so basically, the line two edges that are away from that are um, opposite of each other. And then you're gonna make a tiny pinch on each side of the of the crease like that. Let me zoom in actually. Then you're gonna fold one of the edges, not all of them, not both, just one to the two those two point points and more pinches or whatever you want to call them. Then you're gonna carefully do a, do a crease that's about two inches long for, or a third of the paper in the middle. This is a six inch square of Kami, so I'll be using that. And yeah, cool. So um, then you're gonna, this part's a bit trickier for beginners. You're gonna make a full hold. So you're gonna make, take your corner. Let me actually turn off the light. Maybe you can see. So you're gonna take the corner. Oh, and let me turn the other light. Sorry, it wasn't really prepared. Here, you should be able to see it better now. Cool. So you're gonna take the crease and make. So basically, you're gonna take the bottom left corner, just keeping it in the opposite. That now you're to 108 degrees from the last step, and you're gonna crease so that it paint. You're gonna basically align this edge so that it stops at where the original crease pinch was. One of them. It doesn't matter which side you do. You're gonna do both in the end. Then you're gonna swivel it. So how that works? You're basically gonna pinch or hold the this part down and swivel it onto what we just creased and make a full on fold. And then you're gonna repeat so that this edge folds on to this edge and align so making a sharp point corner. This should make an equilateral triangle from here to here. If you remember my hexagons or hexagonal layers, so remember that um, from my old, one of my older videos, that's a tessellation too, if you're wondering. So, um, and so is the herringbone tessellation, which is obviously a tessellation because it has its own name. Okay, so now unfold completely and repeat on the other side. So, find the edge, put it, make sure that it aligns with the, um, it makes a point on the cor on the, f the original crease, the corner. And fold it so that it was two to that corner aligns with the crease. This crease that's gonna be farthest away from you, except for that is straight across the paper, so it's not gonna be diagonal, a diagonal crease. Give me straight. And then, or of course, not, I should say. And then you're gonna repeat crease fully. It's very important. I forgot to say that. Don't no more hinting, no fully. You're done those crease strongly and unfold. Now, rotate so that these two weird looking crosses are gonna are are gonna be on each side of the paper. Not on top of the bottom, but on the side. It doesn't matter where these two creases are, just matters that these are the only these two on each side are the only important creases now. Now you're gonna make eights. You can do it however you like. I'm going to do it the quarters method. That's what I call it. You're not going to do it. You're not going to repeat it all the way around. That's very important. You're just going to do it in one direction. So either horizontally. You should be doing it vertically. Based on how I just showed you to hold it. Oops. Yeah, so only one direction. Extremely important. You want to make a neat looking model. And then you're gonna fold 
these two edges together so the two edges different sort of opposite from each other turn over and align the two edges we just made so let's flap swing out and align the two edges then once you do that sorry once you do that you're gonna hold the, this crease sorry this corner up along this edge turn over and move here Then, you're basically going to turn it over so that it's color side up if you can start on the white side. Otherwise, it's going to be white side up. Cool. So, you're going to hold this edge on to this crease, so the middle crease, or what seems to be the middle crease for now. Repeat on this. Then, you're going to take this crease that we made recently, and we're going to turn it into a mountain fold. And then, we're going to repeat it, so we're going to fold it to that same spot. And then fold the tiny piece of corner up. Now, triangle board's gonna get a lot smaller than this, but for now, we'll be using a simple, a uh, simple eight, eight based triangle grid, I believe it's called. You can obviously make it a lot. You can, you, make, you can also make it a four based triangle grid. Sorry, it's four based triangle grid, but I prefer doing this because it, it's just a bit more easier to work with. Honestly, a bit easier to work with. I'm gonna look to use the edge of my table to help me fold it. It should look kind of like tiger stripes on some size. Then, completely unfold. And repeat in the other direction. So we turn the um, some creases. Um, we're going to turn these two creases into mountains. I forgot they're actually over here. Nope. You're going to just fold these two, the two edges that are opposite from each other down. Or the two creases, I should say. That should make, they should be parallel. They should be parallel. So then, we're going to turn over and repeat. Sorry, it'll be easy to repeat all the steps. So I'm gonna flash it now and crease and so that you make a center between them. Holding it makes the basically lining the two edges. And you're gonna fold this up so that it makes a flat both of them up, both of the corners up so it makes a flat edge on this side. I'm recording! It's okay! Sorry about that. Basically now, you're gonna um, you're gonna um, you're gonna um unfold, and you're gonna create, and you're gonna do the same thing. It doesn't matter what order you do it, man, as long as you do it eventually the same way as I am. And repeat on the other side, whatever order you want. Triangle grids are quite flexible, so you can do it in many different ways to make them. This is how I prefer to do it, though. Should look like this in the end. Completely on bold. It should look like this. Let me see. I want to off, turn off my computer in a sec. One sec. Cool. So we have triangles. And if you're wondering what do we do to make axis on? So choose any spot where six triangle six points of triangles meet that are all next to each other. I'm gonna choose the center one. Then you're gonna find one the first corner of that shape for the hexagon. And you're gonna make a mountain pole that go the mountain pole that goes to that goes closest to that crease. So to that point. In my case it's right over here. And you're gonna fold this down as a valley fold next to it. Then you're gonna find the opposite. So on so on one squid, one gray line next to it, you should see another point. Go along that in the opposite. That's going the opposite direction. For me, it's tor it's towards the bottom. Except it should be going still to the bottom, but it's gonna be um in a different 
in the other direction. You're gonna, but the most important thing is make sure you're twisting for now. To keep it simple. Make sure you're twisting in the exact same direction. Very important for beginners. Then you're gonna fold a crease. You're gonna keep doing that. So basically, you're gonna put the next corner, which me is right over here. Make the mountain fold on the on the hexagon and the crease and fold it in the same direction the others were going to. Fold it down and that fold right next to it. And keep going. Along the hexagon. Try to fold the, all the valley fold down, folds down, not fold. All the valley folds down at once. Just try your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try, you know, it's not going to be perfect, obviously. You should have that kind of attitude. If it was your first one, it wouldn't be perfect, obviously. See, even mine isn't, and I've done this for years. Which is why we're going to fix it up a bit. I got it. Cool. Then you're gonna twist the hexagon in any direction. I prefer. I like to do it clockwise, but you can do it counterclockwise or clockwise. Once you have all the valley folds down. If you disagree, then you should probably go to a different video that might explain some simpler stuff. But for now, that wasn't that bad. There's like some stuff we'll be showing later on in this series. So, this is your introduction to tessellations. I am Paper Whisperer, and I'll see you soon. Bye.